Chlorius Biosol Homa, a rich liquid fertilizer. This biosol system of fertilization is composed of processes which lead to the biodegradation of organic matter developed within Homa atmosphere using Acnehotra ash and its solution with a yandra. We can use biosol liquid for foliar application to nourish plant kingdom as well as we can also rebuild the soil health with biosol. Biosol is much more superior than vermiwash or vermicompost because we keep the organic material for biodegradation in a biodigester with Agnihotra ash for 21 to 28 days, depending on climate. Agnihotra ash will have a significant positive effect on all the materials used and will make the biosol rich in macronutrients. Before we get started on our biodigester, we need to make sure we complete a couple of things. Number one, we must make our Agnihotra ash solution. This is simply done by placing approximately one tablespoon of ash for every four liters of water. You will need to make the minimum amount necessary for using in your biodigester. For example, 325 liters of water will take 82 tablespoons of ash. Now we will let this 325 liters of water sit for three days prior to filling our tank. Second, we must make a list of the materials needed to build our biodigester. We will break these down for you. We will first start with our tanks. You can either buy a 500 liter or you may also buy a 1000 liter drum for the larger tank and the smaller drum is of 50 to 60 liters. What is most important about this combination is the fact that the smaller drum is an exact fit in the mouth of the larger drum as seen here on the screen. Now for our additional materials as seen here starting from the top. One piece of flexible pipe half inch width and five to six feet in length. Next you will need eight to twelve packs of M seal and you will also need one pack of PVC glue. This is for our adhesive. The following materials are going to be PVC, 3 inch ball valve, 3 inch pipe 1 foot in length, 3 inch elbow, and two 3 inch female adapters. And now for our final set of pieces, these are all metal pieces, half inch elbow, half inch nipple, half inch female adapter with two half inch metal washers. And that's it. Now we are ready to put our biodigester together. So let's build our biodigester. Our gas passage is made into the top portion of the tank using a hot metal half inch pipe. It is rather simple really. We just push the hot pipe through the plastic tank to form our opening. From there we insert our female adapter on the inside of the tank with a rubber washer and on the outside of the tank install a metal washer to tighten the female adapter down. After we place the washer we then place the half inch elbow. Carefully tighten the pieces. Next we insert our half inch nipple into the elbow opening and again carefully tighten. Last, we insert the nipple into the half inch flexible pipe that is going into the bucket. We fill the bucket with water as it serves as a trap of the nitrogen that is flowing out from the biodigester. Now the spout for our solid material. Again, this process is as simple as installing the gas pipe and that is we take a 3 inch hot metal pipe and push it through our plastic tank to create our spout opening. Then it is necessary for someone to take one of the 3 inch female adapters, place glue on the ridge before going inside the tank to push it through to the outside. It is also necessary for this person to remain inside the tank until the ball valve is tightened on. But before tightening on the ball valve, we have to glue on the 3 inch rubber washer. Then we tightened on the ball valve. Now it is okay for the person to exit the tank. Next, we measure the amount of PVC pipe needed to fit the second female adapter and the elbow together. 
it should be an exact amount so that you cannot actually see the PVC pipe when they are fitted together. Once this is complete, we tighten on the second female adapter onto the bow valve, then glue in the PVC pipe, and finally we glue on the elbow onto the remaining PVC pipe. Now this completes our solid material spout. Now we can return to our lid and this is the final stage in the process of making our custom-made biodigester. We have found the best combination of drums for our airtight lid and that is a smaller tank approximately 50 to 60 liters in volume combined with a either the 500 liter or it also fits a 1000 liter tank. It is necessary for the smaller tank to have a top with a metal ring to ensure that no air will pass. Also, this is now a resealable airtight lid with which we replace our fresh materials after every harvest. We take the smaller drum and cut the top third portion off to make two parts. Everything is useful. The top now becomes the lid to our biodigester and the bottom portion becomes our bucket used to store the water with which the nitrogen flows into from the gas pipe. Next, we use this top third portion of the smaller drum and we fit it into the opening of our 500 liter drum. These two tanks should fit exactly in diameter so that there is absolutely no gap between them when combined. Once this is complete, we take the M-seal or silicone adhesive and we generously place around the entire circumference. In addition to placing the adhesive around the lid area, we want to place it where the pipe is coming out for both the gas and solid spouts. Some extra caution is needed in order to ensure that our tank is properly sealed. Now this is complete, so we can let the biodigester dry and the following day we can fill it with the materials and seal it. The materials used Directly, <laughs> 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 जब आदमी अग्रहोत प्लानिंग बाद में ओम का उसे विचारण करता है ये उनको कितने पैसा लगा तो कारण है जानते क्या ओम से पूरे बदन की नशे बनो ओम से क्या है अपवाइब्रेशन After 21 days in summer temperatures and 28 days in winter temperatures, the outlet for our solid material is released to remove the biosol liquid. It should be filled in airtight plastic cans of suitable sizes. The moist solid material which is left over after removing biosol liquid should be squeezed and more liquid biosol is collected. We may get 200 to 210 liters of biosol liquid from wintertime mixture and 260 liters from summertime mixture. It should be used for foliar applications with water at a ratio of 1 liter of biosol to 10 liters of water or 1 liter of biosol to 20 liters of water depending on density of plant population and soil condition. We can spray biosol liquid on any type of crop at an interval of 15 days. If we preserve biosol liquid in airtight cans, it will last longer, say about 6 months. The leftover solid biosol 
which is also having maximum macronutrients, should be mixed with any type of organic manure at a ratio of 1 kgs to 4 kgs or 1 kgs to 5 kgs, again depending on density of plant population and soil condition.